Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and I'm excited to be back today sharing a really fun tropical card using a brand new stencil from Missing Stamps. It's stencil week over at Missing Stamps, so you're going to want to go check it out, see all the new stencils, and this one that I'm using today is a beauty. It's got these floral images and some geometric looks to it. I really love it. Today I'm going to ink up the flower portion using a light pink ink, and then I'm going to go in between all of those flowers with a yellow ink. We're going to get some really fun ink blending this way. We're going to get some oranges blended through. It's it's really beautiful stencil, and you can actually ink this up any way you want. Today I just wanted to highlight those flowers because I am making a tropical card today. So this is really fun to do. Try different color combinations as well. Look at the results here. So pretty. I love this stencil. I love the thin lines that you get in between. It's a really, really high quality stencil as well. Today I'm gonna to be using the Pretty Bird stamp set and I'm gonna stamp out a bunch of those images. I chose to use the toucans today. There are a lot of different birds you can use. There's some parrots, there's cockatoos. This time it, it's the toucans for me. I also stamped out a couple of those branches and leaves and a few of the hibiscus. Now I've found that when I'm Copic coloring, it works better for me when I use some paper underneath my card panel. So I've pulled out my maker's mat here, which is a kind of like a large paper pad. And this is gonna work great for Copa coloring instead of using my glass mat there. I just pulled out a bunch of light greens, kind of tropically green colors. I've got uh, YG03 and YG00 here. I'm just gonna start on some of the leaves, then I'll bring in some darker YG colors. I've got the YG05 and the YG09. I'm just gonna blend these out, making some of the leaves darker than others. So we get a really fun tropical bouquet looking branch. I love these images and they really are dramatic on a card when you color them up this way. So beautiful, so pretty. I'm just gonna finish coloring up all of these leaves here using the variety of greens that I've pulled out. And then I'm gonna color the hibiscus with a nice bright pink. I did stamp some extra hibiscus, but I ended up not using them on this card. I'm gonna save those for a future card, which is just totally fine to have some extras here. For the branches, I pulled out a couple of E colors, E37 and E33, and colored up those branches. Very, very quick and simple to do. This coloring is so fun and easy. The images are really easy to color. So that's another thing I loved about these. For the toucans, you can color these up any way you want. I decided I wanted their beaks to be orange and yellow today so that I can color up their bodies and their wings with lots of different colors. Toucans normally have a really bright colored beak and bright bodies with some black. The fun thing about coloring these images is you can make them any colors you want. So I'm bringing in some blues and pinks and yellows here for this toucan. I'm gonna finish them out with an N7, which is a really dark gray, just to pull it all together. I'm coloring them a little bit differently so they each have their own personality. <laughs> you can add just whatever colors you want. These are super cute images and so, so easy. So I'll finish up that coloring there and then I'm just gonna fussy cut these out and we're gonna place them on this card panel just like this. For the branches, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them straight down. And then for the toucans themselves, I'll pop them up with some foam tape. And I just love this stenciled background. It really adds a pop of that tropical flower, floral feeling, I guess. And so look at how well these toucans just look with that background. Really, really cute. Here's where I'm popping those up with the foam tape. I did pick up out a sentiment. You can see it there just kind of laying there, but I ended up stamping it on some bright pink paper and white heat embossing that. And then I will go ahead and mat that with some white paper as well. 
and then pop that up on the card. So I'm white heat embossing. It says just a little toucan of my appreciation. They've got some really great sentiments in this set also. So I'll just wipe away that excess powder there on the cardstock and I'll cut that out, add it to some white paper. So I've got it popped up on some white as well. And then to make sure it's straight on my card, I'm using this T-square ruler and there you go. Just a little toucan of my appreciation. How cute are those little birds and that floral spray against the floral stenciled background? Really, really fun. It makes for a really great happy card that I'm sure would brighten anyone's day. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, go check out Miss Ink's blog so that you can see all the new stencils in this release. There's some really great inspiration as well. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.